guys, Wendy here, and I'm introducing you to a brand new video series here on this channel, and it's called Disney Bounding with Wendy. So Dustin and I are huge fans of Disneyland and everything Disney, and every time we go to the park, we always see people with amazing outfits and they're Disney bounding. What is Disney bounding, you ask? Here's a little history on Disney bounding. It was made popular by Leslie Kay on Tumblr, and her definition is, Disney Bound is meant to be inspiration for you to pull together your own outfits, which work for your body and wallet, whether from your closet or local mall. Which brings me back to why I wanted to create the series. So we've gone to the park and I'm always seeing these awesome Disney bound and ideas and how, how out of the box people can think and it's really inspired me to kind of get back into it. I've dabbled in it in the past and now I just want to get back into it more. Follow me as I create my own Disney bound outfits and I hope you enjoy this video series. If you have any suggestions on any characters you'd like to see me Disney bound as, comment below. For the first episode of Disney Bounding with Wendy, it just so happens that this weekend is Dapper Day. I have never ever participated in Dapper Day before, and if you don't know what Dapper Day is, here's a little definition. Started in 2011, Dapper Day celebrates refined style and showcasing you at your best. There's no specific time period designated for Dapper Day, so looks from vintage to contemporary is encouraged. I guess you could say I've been a little timid to try Dapper Day because you've seen these outfits on the internet, on Pinterest. People don't mess around with Dapper Day and I'm just like, how can I pull together something like that? that? That's not even like that vintage look. It's just, I've always admired from afar because I don't feel like I can pull it off. And it wasn't until uh, Jason on Twitter who was like, just just try it. I was like, you know what? You're right. I should just, just try it. The character I've decided is Mulan and her color palettes is pretty simple. There's like three different color palettes. In option one, Mulan is wearing a navy blue tunic. She also has a white underskirt. She's also wearing a light blue top and there's red accents on her belt and collar. In option two, Mulan is wearing a pale yellow skirt with a light green top. She has blue and red accents around her waist. In option three, and I think this is the look we're all most familiar with, she's wearing a pink top with a plum skirt. She's also wearing a white underskirt. She has the blue and red accent around her waist again, and there's also pops of teal, purple, and lavender. So what I've picked out is this skirt. I don't know if this will work, but it is like a pencil skirt, and I intend to pair it with either, I think, a light, like a teal blouse or maybe a pink blouse um, with a blue belt here with a little bit of a red accent and then a purple shawl but we will see what else I have in my closet. I mean so I've got plenty of clothes even though I always feel like I need more but that's besides the point. I feel like I have enough stuff here for a regular Disney bound. I don't think I have stuff in here for a dapper day look. So we're going to have to hit the thrift store. Also, Dustin is going to be Mushu. So he's going to come with me to the thrift store. So here's what I was thinking for the outfit. I was thinking of just going with some red pants, um, a yellow shirt, and then some kind of red jacket because he has kind of like that yellow belly on him. But the thing is though, it all depends on how much I can find, how good of a price I can get because I already got some pieces. I have um, like some red gi pants and um, I also have like a red gi that I, I mean, so all I would need is like a yellow shirt. But what I would really like to do and see if I can find it are some nice red slacks with a, like a nice red blazer. But since we're going thrift shopping, it's going to be really up to what we can find and how much it is. Because I ain't going to go over 20 bucks on this costume. Do you think the red gi is dapper? Though? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. That's why I would like to get the pants, yeah, yeah. the slacks, and the coat. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can find like a yellow button-up shirt or a yellow shirt. That should be no problem. Yeah. Or maybe even just some red pants. Watch we find the red pants and the red blazer or something of that color and then we don't find the yellow shirt. Like that'll be the fun. That would, <laughs> that would be qu actually quite kind of, ah. Yeah. Okay, well let's go to the store. Don't even really know where to start, but here we go. <laughs> So I may have just found the perfect blouse. It is pink, it is vintage -y. it's by Nasty Gal. Isn't that cute? Okay, we're gonna put this in the basket. Also, been in here for about 15 minutes and my basket is like totally filled. What are you doing? I'm doing all right. They don't have any kind of red slacks though, oh. or anything near a red jacket. Okay. So I thought I could get like these red jeans. Okay. And then have like the yellow shirt tucked in okay. with either a plaid or 
Okay. Red shirt that, that goes could work. with it. I think this one goes a little bit better. Uh huh. With the besides the plaid, but I definitely have to wash it. Oh yuck! <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash everything. This is true. So what do you think? I mean, yeah, I think that's great. Good color choices. I don't know how dapper it is again, but if oh, they yeah, don't have geez. slacks, that they don't know. have slacks. They don't have a jacket. Yeah, that's a bummer. So I first thought I had it, and now I'm not sure. I also think I'm like way too obsessed with wanting to get this nasty gal top. But I don't know. I like actually put it on, and actually it was all right. It's just this is more peachy and versus pink. So we'll see. And then for Dustin, finding red. Trying to find red is impossible. It's so, so hard. So we're, we're switching characters. Yes. What are we switching to? To um, Shen. Sh Shen. Shen. Captain Shen. Uh, from so we're gonna go with a gray green scale. The problem is when we like looked it up on on the phone, there's like different shades. Yeah. Of his so, so it's like some is he like, like lighter really green dark. or is he like darker hunter green? Well, like he isn't like some of them are so. even like gray. Yeah, so, but we're gonna try some stuff on and see how that goes. Well, that was a lot more stressful than I expected, I think, mainly because not only it's Disney bounding, it's Disney bounding with, like, the hint of, uh, that is Dapper Day also tomorrow, so, but here's what we got. This is the option I've put together for my first, sorry, those are my feet, my first Dapper Day ever. Um, so the top is a pink pink peachy top by nasty gal that was like $17.99 or something like that i don't know how much it originally would have retailed for i'll try to find out and put that in the link below the two belts i'm gonna layer and that is my skirt which it's actually showing up the color i want it to be it's actually more properly plummy than that but that is the look tomorrow and i think with the hair and the shoes complete it would actually pull it all together but we'll see i have a second option which is this long red skirt that i found so i don't know if like that just doesn't look right to me tomorrow maybe i'll switch over to this one additionally i found another skirt and that is basically in the color scheme of mulan so the camera's picking up different colors but that top layer is like a pale pink with the royal blue which is showing up bright and then this is like a more uh burgundy burnt darker red and so that could be like for a casual Mulan bound I don't know I, it was like three bucks so I got it so I don't know let's put it all together and see what happens this is Dustin's look can't man these colors aren't really coming off That's up on the camera the sucks. yeah but it's like a God, I haven't tied a tie in so long <laughs> do you remember how I think so so Shane's looks very like green like a weird dusty I don't know what color you call that green with gray and black and there's a hint of red we didn't find any red ties at the store and we, yes we only hit one store because we didn't really have the time yeah but that tie has hints of red in it so i think maybe it'll work in any case he looks very handsome <laughs> dashing dapper it's the morning of dapper day i'm almost ready to go this is i don't know if you can see this is the full outfit that I've decided to go with. We're going to go to stop by the store and see if I can find a tiny little red sash to put the belt here just because I feel like it'll add the final look. I've got red shoes which are by the front door so I've got those shoes on right now. And the hair, honestly, this is like the best I could come up with for someone who's never ever done vintage hairstyle nor do I have the hair type to do hairstyle because this is like hairsprayed and it was kind of uppity. But now it's not uppity at all. And I tried teasing it a little bit more. It's just like my hair doesn't hold curls. It doesn't hold anything. So um, I think this is the best I can do. For the first time ever, Dapper Day, Disney Bound. I feel like taking on a little too much. Not only Disney Bounding, but I was also trying to do a Disney Bound Dapper Day type look. But um, that's how you learn. <laughs> Plus, I bought a really great shirt uh, because of it, so, I mean, you know. When life gives you lemon, you make clothing lemonade. We're rushing on down to Disneyland, so hopefully we can make the picture. Yeah, there's a group photo in front of the dress shop. 
which ironically I was going to go anyways because they have these really adorable teacup dresses, uh, not dresses, teacup skirts that came out last week. But like, had I gotten it last week, I probably would have worn it for Dapper Day, but I didn't have time to go down there. So whatever, I'm going to go today, pick it up, and I go there for the next Dapper Day. <laughs> I kind of decided to go against the tie because I found this really cool, it was like a blue, sa I had a red sash, so I attempted to turn it into something like an ascot, but, it, you know, it kind of turned out. I thought it looked a little bit better than the plain tie, so, and it also makes it just pop a little bit more, and if you look closely, you can see like some flowers and some leaves on there, and I thought it looked pretty nice. So, a lot better than just a normal, like, tie that didn't have any red in it at all. The only key component that I'm missing, well, honestly, to be honest with you, there's a lot of stuff missing, like this whole outfit is, is I'm unsure, but whatever, we're, we're going, so we're just gonna go for it. Just plow on through. This is our first attempt. Yeah. So... It's not, it's not really just like, I was telling them earlier, like, it's not just Disney bounding. Like, it's like I attempted my very first video in the first video series, uh, first of the video series to do Disney bounding plus Dapper Day. Yeah. For who's never done Dapper Day before. Um, who I don't think have, I have, compl I have complete understanding of Dapper Day. And plus I had, we had what? eight hours to, to, to put all this together. We kind of waited to the last minute on this one. Yeah, so it was a very, uh, like, uh, in the moment time kind of decision. Like, we're doing this, so it is what it is. We're still going to go have fun. You can't not have fun at Disneyland. Yeah. So we're going to go take pictures. And plus, we were told by a very wise person once to don't, don't wait. Don't wait until it's perfect. Just do it. Thanks, Jeremy. I've been thinking about this for, for doing this for a while now, and I just thought, you know what? It's just... I keep waiting and waiting and planning and just it's yeah. taking too long and it's never going to happen so we just, just sometimes just got to jump in just do it <laughs> nike just do it the one thing that i wanted that i thought like i would have completed the look just a little bit more is a thin red um ribbon to go across the blue belt that you saw earlier yeah um because the other belt that i bought just i didn't have enough time to rig it together i do have red i have red shoes and i have a red clutch so I guess that kind of, and I have a red ribbon in my hair. It works. Um, so I guess it kind of works. We'll see. We made great time getting down here. Like half an hour. Really fast for getting down to Disneyland. However, we have to deal with this. Like, I'm all like, the parking lanes are open, but it is so congested. That group photo is in 27 minutes. And I swear to God, if I miss it. That fact that it's going to take more time to get from the parking lot into the park than to get down to the park is going to really piss us off. Oh. I feel like that lane is going faster. Like, this lane was moving a lot, and now it's not moving at all. Murphy's Law. Oh, my God. I'm so upset. You guys, this whole morning couldn't have been any worse. So it took us 20 minutes to get through, to just to get into the Disney parking lot. And then it took us another 10 to get on the tram and get here. And then instead of dropping us off right here, which is where we want to go, the we're side. across the street. So it's like you put us further away from where we're supposed to go. I can't even, I can't even, like, I'm in such a bad mood right now. I can't even enjoy all these amazing costumes people are wearing. I can't, I need like a, I need a restart. We missed the photo completely, by the way, completely. Um, because it is now 10, what time is it? Uh, 10, 10. It's 10, 10, so we definitely missed it. And to think, we left the house at 8.45. Okay, well, we made it, we definitely missed the photo, uh, I think, but we made it the to the, the dress shop. We, we will take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be great, it'll be fine. We didn't miss the group photo at all. Look at all these amazing people that are in the picture with us. I love all these outfits. They're really cool. I'm here with Ashley Eckstein, and Ashley, this is the first time I've participated in Dapper Day. Me too. So, as you can see, this is Ashley's design. Actually, it's inspired by the Haunted Mansion. 
with, complete with Parasol. So Ashley, for someone who is just beginning in Disney bounding and Dapper do you have any tips for them? Ooh, you know, tips is just find uh, characters that you love. So I obviously love Haunted Mansion. I also love Alice in Wonderland. And I think the biggest thing is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, just find something, you know, it can be as simple as color blocking. You don't have to have like a perfectly tailored um, dress or even costume. Um, just find, you know, color blocking or just little elements. Like maybe it's, um, if you're Belle, it's as simple as carrying around a book. Or if it's Alice, maybe it's um, as simple as like having some flowers. Um, so it, it, it can be as simple or as elaborate as you want it to be, but just, just try. Give it a try. Um, so don't be scared. Don't look at other Instagram photos yes. where people are like, they look so perfect and then you're like, I can never live up to it. Just go for it. And that's honestly the problem I had before I actually went and did this because I kept on waiting for it to be perfect, perfect, perfect. My friend said, Wendy, if you're waiting for it to be perfect, it will never be perfect. You're never going to do it. You're just going to be sitting there watching everyone else and wishing you could do it. So I said yesterday, okay, we're going to do it. And we did it. And you look incredible. Thank you so much. You guys, don't forget to check out Ashley Eckstein, her website, heruniverse.com. So everything's been working out fine so far. One of the main things that I knew I had to make sure was that everything we were wearing were comfortable because oh, the most one definitely. thing you don't want come to the park, your outfit looks on point, but you're really uncomfortable in it. Well, even the shoes I'm wearing, I'm wearing red pumps. I sprayed a little bit of pre-heel uh, spray, which is like a uh, friction-free spray. It doesn't give you any blisters or anything like that. Um, actually works. Shoes are feeling okay. I mean, I'll, I'll be switching them out eventually, but right now they're okay. You remember when yesterday we were saying that Dustin was going to try to do Mushu, we couldn't find it. I found my Mushu! All the way down. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So now we're going to take a ton of pictures together. <laughs> I would have to say that was a quite successful first Dapper Day. I would say so too, going from especially how stressed it w we were this morning, how what terrible mood I was in before <laughs> we, we got to the in front of the dress shop, and how insecure I was feeling about the choices I made for the outfit. Mm -hmm. But within just minutes of getting into, not even the park, but we were in downtown Disney, people were like, oh my gosh, Mulan, Mulan. and Shen, and they got it, and I was like, Oh, okay. And like sometimes you're you're so afraid of stepping into this this world that you're trying to create a costume and you yeah. try to be inspired and you're just second guessing yourself every step of the way. And then a part of it too, it's not saying that I have ever experienced this, but I was worried that people were going to kind of look down at our outfits and be like, oh, yeah, look at be them. like, oh, you guys aren't doing it right. Or, yeah. What the? What are you? What are you doing? But everybody was really nice. Mm -hmm. Everybody was really encouraging. People came up to us. And I love and the fact hi. that someone got so excited with you because they were like, oh my gosh, you nailed Mulan perfectly. That's kind of what Mulan would be in the 20s. Yeah. Kind of like this sassy kind of business woman business type. Woman type. And then we found a Mushu. Yeah, that was, and we were just about to leave too. We, mm -hmm. were, we were done for the day and we were leaving. She's like, oh my God, are you Mulan? Because I'm Mushu. I was like, perfect. How perfect. So I would say overall Dapper Day was a success. The first time of, as a couple, Disney bounding, mm -hmm. a success. This Not video, really counting I think, the success. one time that we went to Halloween dressed up as... You no, know, because that's a costume. Yeah, We, we were was... Wreck-It Ralph yeah. and a Vanilla P. Von Schmidt. But <laughs> I think that we are ready for the next Dapper Day in the spring. Yeah. We're going to try it out. I'm excited. 
Yeah, so you guys comment below and let us know if you have any suggestions on what couple Dapper Day characters we oh, could do. And also, if you have any good ideas for gender bending couples. Yes. Because I would love to do something like that. You know, I don't, I mean, there's already a lot of them out there like Elsa and, um, not, what's his name? Han. Han. Mm -hmm. No, no. Oh, that'd be a good one too. Yeah. But a lot of people have already done that. Maybe something that's a little bit more obscure, I okay. think would be really cool. Yeah. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this very first video in the video series of Disney Bounding with Wendy. Um, suggestions and Dustin. and Dustin. Suggestions are always welcome in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and visit our Patreon. And we'll see you in the next video.